All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to record voiceover audio straight into Premiere Pro. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you watching my video. If you do enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I read and reply to all your comments. And I'm trying to build a bit of a community, so it's always nice to engage with you guys. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment. Gear tech reviews, tutorials, all that sort of thing. So hopefully some helpful stuff there for you. And please do remember to hit that notification bell so that I can let you know when new content is released. Let's get into today's video. Really quick one today. I'm just going to show you how to record voiceover audio straight from your audio source into Premiere Pro. So if you haven't got Premiere Pro, then this video probably isn't for you. However, I am doing a bit of an audio series at the moment. I've already done one on compression and I will be doing a bit of a mini series on audio in general. I am a sound engineer, so I figured it'd be a good idea to make some of these videos for you. So hopefully you find them useful. Okay, so we're now in our Premiere Pro session. I've got some drone footage here that I took and edited together not long ago. It's got a soundtrack to it, but no voiceover. Don't tend to put voiceovers on my drone videos. But for the purpose of this video, this is what we're gonna do. So what you wanna do is you wanna come down to the audio section on your timeline. Choose the next available track on your audio timeline. If there isn't a blank audio track available, then just right click and go to add track. Okay, we'll just undo that for now. Let's use audio two for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm going to right click on my track. I'm going to go to customize. And I'm going to find the microphone icon here, which says voiceover record underneath. And I'm going to drag that into my audio options. Click OK. We're now going to expand the track so that we can see all the options. And as you can see, we've got the voiceover record option here. What we're going to want to do now is right click again and go to voiceover record settings. In here, it should give you all the audio sources attached to your PC or Mac. In this case, it's my audio interface. So that's right. That's what we're using to record the audio through this condenser microphone. So I've got my condenser microphone in through my audio interface and it's now being recognized by Premiere Pro. If for some reason you weren't seeing the interface or the USB microphone you're using, then you can go to Edit, Preferences, Audio Hardware, and as you can see, you should be able to select it from your drop-down option here. What you also want to change when you get to here is your latency. It'll be set as default to 200. I would put it right down to 30. Unless you're getting dropouts, and then you might want to put it back up again. Dropouts is when the audio drops out. If that does happen, it means it can't keep up with the recording and you might have to change the latency to something a bit higher. The lower the latency, the more in real time the audio is. We'll click OK on that. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to your audio tab. You want to go to the audio track mixer. You want to enable, in this case, audio track two for recording. Now it's ready to record. We go down to our audio track and right click again. We go to voiceover record settings. We can see the volume so we know if we need to adjust the gain or not. So we can check it's not clipping. And you can also choose pre-roll three seconds, which give you a three second countdown before the audio recording starts and post roll, which I would untick. Don't really need post roll. And you can also get a countdown in the sound cue, which again, I don't want. So I'm just gonna get a three second pre-roll, which will just give me a three second countdown, and then I can start recording the audio. So I'll close this. We're pretty much ready to go. So get my microphone, we've got my video. So let's hit the microphone icon. And as you can see, we've got a countdown. And here's our video. It's the video that I recorded the other week of Worthing. And as you can see, beautiful sunset. Pretty happy with these clips. Mavic Air 2, nice. Or is it the Phantom 4 Pro? Phantom 4 Pro, I believe. So yeah, nice. And now we've recorded the audio. So we press stop. 
And now it should have recorded the audio for us. So let's just check it back. And here's our video. It's the video that I recorded the other week of Worthing. And as you can see, beautiful sunset. Pretty happy with these clips. Mavic Air 2, nice. Okay, so a nice clear voiceover. And there we have it. That's how you record audio straight from your audio source into Premiere Pro for voiceovers for your videos. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do leave it a thumbs up. If you've got any other audio questions that you want answered, then please do leave a comment below. Um, I'll read and reply to all your comments and I'd love to help you out if there's a question that I can help you out with. I am a sound engineer, so I do know a little bit about audio as well as video. So I am gonna be doing more of these audio videos along with my video tutorials. So please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. That's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one.